So here we have a converging lens and we have an object which is closer than the focal length. And this is basically where you have something like this and uh, the lens is quite close to it. And what we then see is a magnified image. So this is how to draw the ray diagrams to actually construct that uh, image that we see. Now the first ray I'm going to draw from the top of the object through the centre of the lens and then this just keeps going in a straight line and we're going to assume this is because it's a nice thin lens and at the centre you've got parallel sides so um, the light comes out in a parallel direction. So this is that first ray of light I've drawn with a ruler and just put an arrow down there. Now the second ray of light I'm going to do uh, comes from the top of the object and it goes parallel to the principal axis and then through the focal point. And I think what you'll start to see here is that after the light goes through the lens and it goes through the focal point, the two rays of light over here, they don't cross over. In fact, what they do, they tend to diverge. Now, if you're looking from this side here through the lens at the object, um, so this is an eye, so this is like where your eye would be down here. As you look uh, this way, what you see is that um, the rays of light appear to be coming from up here somewhere. And what I can do is I'm just going to follow the path of where the rays appear to come from back with my ruler. Now I'm going to do this with a dotted line uh, and this just sort of shows it's what we call a virtual ray. It's not where the ray of light actually goes but it's where it appears to come from. Where it appears to come from. So that's uh, the first one and if I do the same with this one uh, have I got enough room? Yeah, so I'm just going to do this. There we go. And uh, what we see is as we look through, we see an image which um, basically appears to come from where these virtual rays of light cross over. Now the thing here, this image um, is, is a lot bigger than the object over here, and therefore it's been magnified. It's also formed where virtual rays of light cross over, so it's what we call a virtual image. And the other thing about it is it's upright, which is different to the image we see when objects are a long way away. Um, so yeah, basically that's how to construct the ray diagram, uh, you know, using one of these as a magnifying glass.